All right, guys, now the very first thing that we're going to need in order to start learning about website hacking is an actual website that we can test on. Now, we can't just go online and find any old website and start trying to hack it because that is illegal and we don't want to go to jail, so we need to host our own website. Now, we can host it from our own computer if we wanted to, but again, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to hack it. We're going to be trying to break in mess with the system so probably hosting a website from our own computer wouldn't be a good option because you know in case we delete any files by accident we don't want to mess with our host computer so what are some other options well we can just go online to like um, GoDaddy or Bluehost and get some cheap shared hosting plan but believe it or not they <laughs> They probably wouldn't like if you just bought a website just to try to hack into their system. So you might get a little, you know, a couple mean emails. So here's what I'm going to do in this tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to set up a virtual machine. And if you guys never used a virtual machine before, what it is, is pretty much a way that you can run an entirely new operating system within your own computer. So for example, say you wanted to run Linux on this computer, you can run it in a virtual machine and then you can use it to host the website and then what you could do is you can pretty much try to hack into that website delete any files that you want and no matter what you do to it it's not going to affect the host system so the first thing we need is a program from this website vmware.com if you already have a virtual machine on your computer then that's fine you can just use that but for those of you who don't I'm going to show you guys how to get one and if you click on downloads you can scroll down all the way and click on this link right here this is VMware player pretty much a program a really simple program that you can host virtual machines on your own computer so click download it's free by the way which is awesome and this is one of the more popular ones so that's why I'm recommending this so for this they have an option as you're gonna see for Windows and this is the one I already have installed on my computer or if you have Linux then download this one right here but basically I don't really need to talk you through the installation process you click download click next 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 and you gotta keep all the default settings whenever you do and I'll show you guys what happens it pretty much gives you this little program right here so I'm gonna double click this and you can see I already have a couple virtual machines set up this is Linux and um, this is another flavor of Linux called Ubuntu this is actually the one of the more popular ones but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making an entirely new operating system, a new virtual machine, and we're going to be using it as a web server. So once we have a web server running, we're going to host a little website that we can test on. All right, that sounds like a lot of work, right? We have to set up a web server, and then we have to like make some website somehow. That's going to be you know a pain in the butt, take a long time. Well, check this out. You guys are going to love me after this what this company did called IT set games is they made a website just for testing web vulnerabilities so it's pretty much a website that they knew was buggy so don't ever <laughs> don't ever download this and stick it on <laughs> like an actual server that you don't have complete control over like a shared hosting plan because it has a ton of vulnerabilities so what you want to do is if you go to the downloads page then you can either download this link right here and this website is called BWAP and what it is is it's a website that's made in PHP in MySQL and like I said it has a whole bunch of vulnerabilities that you can test you can actually take a look at a few of the screenshots so it's like a website built just for hacking now if you already have another server up and running then you can go ahead and download this or what they did is they actually made an entirely new virtual machine which includes the server and the website hosted on it everything is configured perfectly for you and if you download this you can get it. it's called bbox so that's the difference bwap is just the website just the web files and bbox is the virtual machine and the website bundled together so we can pretty much click this download it and whenever we open it we have a brand new web server and a buggy website for testing all packaged together it's freaking awesome so I'm gonna click this file it's the 7z file 
and actually that's going to start downloading I actually already have it downloaded because it takes a few minutes and I didn't you know think you guys wanted to wait and just see a little download bar progress throughout the entire tutorial but once you have it downloaded I'll show you what it gives you it gives you this file bbox.7z now what the heck is this 7z thing this 7z thing if you aren't familiar with them they're kind of like a zip file but they have better compression we pretty much need a way to extract it now if you just try to extract it by right clicking and trying to go to hmm, extract all oh, don't really see that option anywhere I said it's not exactly a zip file so we actually need a separate program for unzipping it this is free to it's called 7-zip so if you just go to this website download the program this is gonna allow you to extract 7z or 7-zip files so let me show you what this is and oh here it is and now I had a cool little shortcut to it alright so pretty simple pretty simple interface you can pretty much click on a 7-zip file hit extract and it does its work where do you want to extract it to just like you're using Windows Extractor and hit OK looks good the default path and it does its thing so once it's done doing its thing we can actually close out of this I don't like navigating through that we can go back in our downloads and look at this we now have a beautifully extracted folder you can look at all of the other files and if you go in the speedbox one then you're gonna see this file right here bbox vmware this is your virtual machine and we can either just double click this since we already have VMware player or we can open this and then import it but I'm just gonna double click it and it should load for me so I copied it and check this out so this is giving me a little warning because I have a flash drive plugged in and it's gonna start up our machine and this is resembling a web server so we have a web server that's hosted by Ubuntu and once this starts our website is going to be running and I'll show you guys how to connect to it alright so it booted up our website should now be running now the thing is this website that we just started it doesn't have a domain name in order to have a domain name for a website like www.whatever name you want dot com you actually have to set up with a DNS server or just buy it that's what most people do and everything's set up automatically and since we really don't need that what we need to do in order to access our little site is we need to type in the IP address manually so what is the IP address of this website how do we figure it out well if you go to this and make sure you got the right mouse alright if you type if config then you're gonna see where you at where you at alright in that address 192.168.0.7 now if we open up Firefox and hit HTTP colon backslash backslash 192.168.0.7.bwap b is lowercase wapp is all uppercase and hit enter check it out it's gonna connect and this is our web server so if you ever close out of this and shut it down this website isn't gonna work anymore so pretty awesome and most of the tutorial we can just minimize this because it's done it's just gonna run in the background right now we are some kind of you know resembling some kind of hacker trying to log in this website we obviously don't have control over the server yet but hopefully we will so that is how you set up your website you get your system up and running we now have a website that we can hack into legally we can mess with, we can delete files, we can pretty much try any vulnerability or any test that we want and if it ever messes up and all these files get deleted that's fine our host system right here is never affected at all it's completely safe so for now thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next lesson